Commissioner Sandra Kennedy, thank you for joining us. Uh, you are running to retain your seat on the Corporation Commission. Why do you want to continue doing this job? I want to continue to be the voice of the people of this state. I made promises back in 18 to be their voice to fight for lower rates and to bring some integrity to the commission and I want to continue to do that. I think there are issues at the commission even as we sit on the bench every month that need some attention. What kind of issues? Well, we've got issues such as conservation issues. Uh, we have, we regulate over 300 small water, well, small and large water companies. We have a drought in this state and it has not gone unnoticed. We don't have, or we don't mandate best management practices. And I think that that's what the commission and the staff should be doing. And we should mandate them with the drought in mind and continue to do so. Now, when you were elected in 2018, it, it changed the dynamic of the commission. Former Commissioner Burns then now had an ally to subpoena APS's political spending records. As a result, they released those documents. Since then, you have questioned two CEOs, a rate case has been completed, and the company's returns have been slashed. Has APS sufficiently been held accountable? I wouldn't say sufficiently held accountable, but I think that they have now realized that I'm watching. And I think that that's what all regulators should do is watch what these companies are doing. I don't think for one moment that ratepayers should pay for a private jet. I don't think one moment that ratepayers should pay for bonuses. If anything, the shareholders should be doing that. That's the line in the sand that I draw that I think when we get these rate cases before us, we need to be looking at every line item. You are a big proponent of solar energy. The Republican candidates have said that that's picking winners and losers, and it's making business decisions for companies. I think that the Constitution basically tells us that we need to find the cheapest form of power that we can generate here in the state of Arizona. And it was good to hear one of the largest utilities tell us last year in November that when they put out their RFP request and when they got the responses back, the cheapest form was renewable energy. Why would we not take on the responsibility of accepting what that large utility stated and why would we do something different? We have in our mix um, uh, solar, we have hydro, we have our nuclear. I, I'm, I'm not sure what the issue really is. I know that my opponents talk about building more nuclear. Well, we're talking about spending billions of dollars to build. Who's going to pay for that facility once it's built? It's the uh, ratepayers who are going to pay for it. You are known for asking tough questions. Some would say inflammatory questions. What's your motive when you have these executives in front of you answering for whatever it is that they're in front of the commission? You know, I'm glad you asked that question because one of the things that I said when I went back to the commission in 2019, I did not go there to be a friend of the corporations the entities that we regulate. I went there because the people gave me the authority by voting for me and electing me to represent them. And that's what I intend to do, is to represent the people of this state. I don't need to be the friend of the utilities. I think there's plenty of that at the commission now. And I think sometimes, and I say it quite often, we aren't regulating like we should. We want to be friends. We want to give them everything they want and they don't keep the ratepayers in mind. Are you saying that you see this as a more adversarial relationship between, or it should be a more adversarial relationship between the commission and the utilities? I wouldn't call it adversarial. Uh, number one, I think that there is clearly a line that's drawn in the sand. They are the company. I am the regulator and 
I intend to regulate. Don't ask me to do anything different than what I'm going to do or the Constitution says that I am to do. Um, I want to turn to natural gas. Uh, now, you voted against the gas plant expansion in, in Randolph. People there did not want it. More recently, you voted against gas for a co-op that services southern Arizona, parts of northern Arizona. Those folks did want it. Are there any circumstances in which you will support new natural gas? And I have to be careful with that because of ex parte and it was just a recent vote. I think that when entities come to us with the type of generation that they want to sell to the ratepayers, I think giving us an opportunity to have an input in what they're going to build, how they're going to build it, where they're going to build it. Uh, did they have an opportunity to look at renewable energy? I want to make sure all of that is in the mix. And the cost is so important. I, I, I don't believe in giving companies a blank check. Um, we're going to stay on gas. There have been catastrophic gas line explosions in Coolidge, in Chandler. Um, the ACC has a pipeline safety department, but they're still happening. What more can or should the commission be doing to ensure that gas lines aren't exploding near people's homes? That is a huge issue for me, and uh, I talk about it everywhere I go when I'm out campaigning around the state. The very pipes under our feet are a concern for me. The very pipes that are in the walls are a concern for me. And especially for a company that doesn't know where every pipe is. That's a problem for me. And I think that we need to make Southwest Gas accountable, make them tell us everything that they know, what they don't know, the uncertainties, it's unfortunate that we've had the incidents that we've had. Should we have had them? Are, are, are these the pipes that um, just happened to have been given to Southwest Gas in the transfer from APS? Those are the questions that we have to ask. There are pipes all over the state. Is it even possible for the commission to get to the bottom of this? Well, I think Southwest Gas knows that it is a concern for us, and uh, I've written letters to the effect that you need to find out, you need to be responsible for the very pipes that you are in charge of that is in your territory, under your control. And I think that they are trying to do the best job that they can with the resources that they have. I believe that in 2020, they did come to the commission and ask for additional resources. And uh, we denied the resources because they couldn't tell us where all those pipes were. But I think they're working very hard now to do their due diligence. And uh, again, I will continue to, to ask and hopefully get the answers that we need so that the people in this state are safe.